Hey, what's going on gamers? And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use Adobe Photoshop to make awesome, epic thumbnails for your videos. Let's get started. So recently I made a video on how to get Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a video on how to actually use both these programs. Uh, this video is gonna be about the Adobe Photoshop. So the first step in order to get started is to actually open the program itself. So once you go ahead and open that, uh, as you can see, I have full access to Adobe Photoshop and I got that for free, remember? Um, <laughs> so first we're gonna go ahead and click File and then click New. And then you're gonna go ahead and name it anything you want. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Epic Thumbnail because that's what it's gonna be. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is change the width and height. So YouTube likes to use either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 1920 by 1080 because that's the most high definition photo uh, that, that you can go for. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. And it's gonna click new and it's gonna create this nice white background. This is gonna be your canvas. And of course you can see on the right here, I've got background as my only layer. So what we're first we're going to do is actually show you guys how to incorporate a face into this image. So currently I've got my own image of myself that I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen. Uh, this picture right here actually is the, vi the picture that I modeled uh, my icon after. So what we're going to do is there's actually two ways in order to put your face without the background into this epic thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail. So the first method is, is you can go ahead and click on the magic wand tool. Now what you can do is you can change the tolerance in the top. That's basically gonna affect how sensitive it is. So for example, if I have like a, a tolerance of five and I click on my face, it's gonna only go for so much, right? But then if I go maybe like 50, right? Set that, it's gonna create like a huge, much bigger area, right? So as you can see, if I go ahead and click control plus, it's going to go ahead and zoom in on my face. Uh, you guys like my quarantine beard going on here? Uh, anyway, you can go ahead and click control minus and zoom out, which will help a lot with your detail. So I'm actually not going to go ahead and do this method. Uh, it is a great method. Uh, what you can do, hold up, let me control D is what deselects everything. So if you make a bunch of kind of errors, you can go ahead and control D that. Uh, but if you want to add to it, you can click Alt and then click somewhere. Oh wait, that never mind. That takes it away. Sorry, sorry. So Alt is what takes it away. So if you click Shift and then Alt, you can like take some parts away. If you click Shift, it will add. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Uh, and then so what I'm going to do is actually going to go ahead and use the Pen tool. This is the best tool ever. Uh, so for example, I'm going to go ahead and zoom. Oh, that's a little close. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head down to this part of my body and we're going to go ahead and just add, oh God, it's adding colors. Uh, okay. So if that happens, what you can do is in the top left, click on fill and stroke, just click them and click, uh, the no transparency backgrounds. That'll just make it a lot easier. So what you can do is you can actually like drag these and they'll make curves. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, um, but it doesn't need to be perfect because it's a thumbnail and it's gonna be zoomed in like crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this and I'll see you guys at the next part. All right guys, once you get to the end, it doesn't really matter what it looks like because we're just gonna copy and paste it over. Uh, so once you get to the end, you can go ahead and connect these bad boys like that. And now you have a nice, let me zoom out here, a nice outline of myself. All right, guys, once this selection has been made around your character, what you can do is go ahead and click right click and then click make selection. And once you do that, you don't need to worry about any of this in the box. Just go ahead and click OK. And then you've got this nice outline of your character that's like dotted, right? That means that you're able to cop soon copy and paste it over to the thumbnail. What you can do is on the right side, click down on the shape or right click on the shape and click merge down. That will merge the two layers into one. Now you could, this could be avoided if you go ahead on the pen tool, click the path at the top left. And it, instead of clicking, mine was on shape when I did it, make sure you're on path and then it will, you can outline just the image itself and you don't have to do that merge step. 
That's just so you can do both ways. Next, what you're gonna go ahead and do is just click Control C on your keyboard and then go back over to the blank template and click Control V. Now, as you can see, my beautiful face has been impl implemented into this new thumbnail. And if you see on the right side, it made a layer. Oh. So now what we can do is just, you know, drag it around. Uh, what you can do is click Control T and then all of a sudden you've got these nice boxes that come around. What you can do is you can just drag it. Uh-oh, what are we gonna do? It's distorting. Well, don't worry, don't worry gamers. What you do is you just go ahead and click select or shift, hold shift down and then it just keeps that nice ratio. So um, just kind of just fit it onto the screen best you can. All right, I like that. So what we're gonna do is just click enter and bam, it is now there. So next step is a nice background. All right guys, once you've got Chrome pulled up or whatever, whatever Firefox, whatever Internet Explorer, uh, but who uses those anymore? Just go ahead and type in on, on the Google uh, anything you want your background to be. This looks pretty cool background, but I'm gonna go ahead and just look up like something like dope backgrounds. It can be anything, whatever you want. Go to images and then you can go ahead and scroll down and look for something that you like. Uh, ooh, what is this? Look at that dope HD wallpaper. It's free download. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually download this one. This one looks pretty sweet. So I'm gonna click save image and then you can save it wherever you want. So as you can see, I have some of my thumbnails from, from other videos or images I've used in other videos. So you can go ahead and just save that as something. So like epic background, background, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And then what you go ahead and do is go back to Photoshop, click file, click open, and then go ahead and go to, where the fuck did I save it to? Uh, probably, probably images. There it is. So go ahead and open that bad boy. Now all you gotta do is click control A, and then go over to your image and click control V. Gosh dang it, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Okay, control C. That's what I meant to do. Control V, that's what I meant to do in the first place. All right, so now what we're gonna do again is control T and then drag that bad boy. And it nicely snaps into the corners so you can go ahead and do that. And then you can go ahead and drag it to your liking. So it currently actually isn't fitting my screen but that's okay, I'll show you a nice little fix in a moment. What you wanna try to do is when you're on the internet, you wanna, if you're hovering over an image, in the bottom left, it says the ratio of the of the pixels. So our image was 1920 by 1080, right? So this image is of course gonna be bigger. So we're gonna to have to resize that. It's all right if it's bigger, you could just scale that down. But if it's smaller and you try to scale it up, the pixels are gonna be really, really bad and we don't want that. So now my face is not covered. All you have to do is just drag that above the layer and bam, we got my face and a background. But now there's this white space. So there's two ways we can go about this. So control T again, not on myself, on the layer. Make sure the layer is selected. Go ahead and click control T again. Then what you can do is just kind of drag it and <laughs> that looks fine, right? So you can do that or there's different things you can do. Like if you have it like right here, um, maybe like right here, you can click control enter and then take the box selection tool and go ahead and just copy it copy something like this control C and then paste that so now it's in a new layer as you can see on the right side now what you can do is go control T and then have some like warping right so now it's a little different maybe do a little bit like that um, and then and then do it again maybe oh we have to apply the transformation do it again like like this control copy paste I don't know why it's moving it over a little bit um, it's supposed to be oh you can just snap them back into place shoot so yeah, just go ahead and make it look as best as possible. Um, there we go. And then control T on here and then just go ahead and drag. You can just, now it looks like there's this weird, like cool stream. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually rearrange my character to be a different size. Uh, probably like, like that. Yeah. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is start to add text onto the screen. So now this is where your thumb not, thumbnail becomes, you know, people see, they, they're drawn to words. Their eyes are automatically drawn to words. So if you put something clickbaity in the title, like free, for example, they might click on it more or stuff like that, or any cool image might as well help. 
So what we're going to go ahead and do is add text. So what you can go ahead do in, on the left side, click horizontal type tool, and then just go ahead and click that button or click anywhere on screen. As you can see, it makes a new layer. Once you have the text enabled in the screen, what you can do is go ahead and, you know, choose any font you want, honestly. Uh, I like to tamper with mine, so I really like this Segoy Yui, something like that. It's very nice. Um, if you just go ahead and click the, the non-edited ones, like the standard ones, you can edit it more. So for example, I like black italic. So then I can type epic and it's really big. So I can go ahead and move that if I want, right? So it's nice and big. And then if I just click the text again and click on it, it I can edit it. So what we can do is we can choose all these different types. Oh, I'm gonna have to select it. Choose all these different types of kind of variations of the Segoy Yui or something like that. Next, after um, I like the black one. So next, what you can do is you can adjust the font. So you can have it small, uh, smaller, smaller, or you can just go ahead and enter in your own value and have it really, really big. So I'm gonna keep it at that 500, maybe maybe 400. Uh, is a nice nice size variant and then you can change the sharpness the crispness uh, Strongness if you do none look how kind of un Smooth it looks you kind of want to have it just on sharp sharps the most professional looking and that will draw more attention to your video Next you can go ahead and choose some color uh, for your your text So what you want to do is select the text and then choose whatever color you want um I kind of, my channel themes are blue and purple or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the purple font or purple color. Then once I do that, I'm going to click enter. Bam. Oh, shoot. All right. Once you change the color, you have this nice epic text. Uh, wait, hold up. My my font's a little weird. So it's going to go 400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you have that, you have this nice, nice font. Now, what can I do to the font to make it pop more? What can I make it what can I make it do to make it look more appealing to the viewers? Well, something that you can go ahead and do is when you're on the text layer on the right side, go ahead and double click it. Now it comes up with all of these extra little things that you can go ahead and put on your text. One thing I like to put on is stroke. So I'm gonna go ahead and add stroke and look at that. It already had this little black selection around it. So what you can do is you can change the opacity of the whole text itself. You can change the fill of the capacity. I don't really know. Some of these you guys probably can tweak around with these more and find out what they do. But what happens if I just click OK? Now it has this stroke little effect there. So now if I double click the stroke, now there's even more options. So I can click the size of the stroke, for example. I want something probably like, like that. Um, and then I can go ahead and choose the color. Uh, I can go ahead and choose like gradients. I can go ahead and, and choose like a pattern, um, something fancy, but I'm just going to stick with a normal color. All right, guys. So after some thought, I decided to go with the black uh, center and then the pink on the outside, purple, pink on the outside. So I, on the stroke, I have it as the, the pink, purple, and then on the text itself, it has the black at the top. I did this because it and the other way kind of looked a little weird. I do really like just a solid black or white background. I like simplicity uh, with a little bit of, you know, snazz to it. So next we're going to go ahead and write thumbnails as the next epic thumbnail like that. And then we're going to go ahead and resize it. Maybe like 200. I have to select it. Forgot. 200. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it. Oh, there's another little thing you guys can do. You can adjust different parts of it but I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. So now I've got this epic thumbnail. All right guys, so once you guys got the word thumbnail, I want it to be the exact same style as the top. So instead of adding a new stroke to the thumbnail, what you can go ahead and do is right click the stroke from the epic one and go ahead and click copy layer style and then paste that over onto the uh, thumbnail one. So now we've got epic thumbnail as the title. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is add more effects to it because we're just gonna go all out. So let's see, on the epic one, what I can do, oh, go ahead and double click the epic, not like that, double click the epic. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an outer glow because I really think that that's a really cool um, effect. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK, and then double click the outer glow. And then I can mess with it, so I can have like spread and size. Oh, size, there we go. Look at that, ooh. So I don't know if I really like this yellowy color. Let's go ahead and look around for different, um, different color variants that we can do. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this blue, uh, cause why not? And I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing where I go ahead and copy layer style, go over to the thumbnail, and then paste. So now we got this cool little uh, combo wombo going on here. What if we want to outline myself? You know, maybe maybe kind of combine the two, make, make them look the exact same maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy what I have here, copy layer style, and then just go and paste it into, there we go. Now we're glowing everywhere. Um, hopefully this isn't too much, but hopefully this can get some of you guys started on YouTube as thumbnails. So of course you guys can get way more creative with this. I'm not very creative as you can see from my previous thumbnails. <laughs> I've also haven't really cared too much. I should probably care a little more, uh, but I'll work on it. And you know, everyone has some, some growing moments. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check out my other videos if you haven't already on how to get Premiere Pro for free as well as Photoshop. Please like and subscribe, and I appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys later. Oh,